one thing that we do, one habit that we have is we project, you know, like we, we put the shoe on the other foot, you know, mice, mice is full of integrity. He's like, yo, I don't like saying the word, sorry. It's, 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 it's rooted in emotion. So I don't like making people say it. And it's like, you can't do that. Mice. He's not right. You. But, he but I got him to it. Like I got him to admit. I got him to admit. Maybe it's one of the upcoming episodes, but I got him to admit that he would have wanted a sorry in, in a certain situation. Brother, you know, in the black community, especially respect goes a long way. bro. Like brothers is out here dying over respect. No, I hear you, and for bro. him to not show the proper respect to a minister, an elder, a leader. Yeah. Yeah. And to his so-called friends and 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 the patrons that helped put him to and give him the lifestyle that he's able to afford. Now, Cypher. Nah. Yeah, that's, nah. A, hey, that's what I'm trying to tell you. At that point, at that point, you start to realize that it's more ego and pride than it is anything else. And it's also who he perceives. The minister to be because he he tells me at the end of the day i'm not um apologizing to somebody who thinks my people are safe that's what he said to me i don't know mm -hmm. if he said that to you but he said that to me mm -hmm. even though i've sat across from him in his own fucking office and he said is the white man the devil and i said yeah you know what i mean like especially in in like jail situations and all that type of shit where respect is is just so high and that's all you have you're gonna let a motherfucker just bump into you and and and, and not get us i don't give a fuck if he wants to give this sorry or not like that's some for some people respect is all they got so i don't care well, he, he knows he if knows it's his, not in your heart to do it you still put, gotta I'll do it, it like i put it like this mice knows his value in jail you know, because there's not a whole lot of intangibles there. You know what I mean? It comes right. down to what I can do. He knows. What right. He can do, so he's fully aware of what his value is. So he's going to demand right. a sorry because he's going to always know when he's not when he's not being treated like the king that he is. In these types of scenarios, we get tricked sometimes. You know what I mean? Like we don't know what we're looking at because we're so busy being divine and loyal. We don't even realize the moments where we're being taken advantage of. You know what I'm saying? And that's like. That shit's running rampant in this business a little bit too much. You know what I'm saying? So you ever did you look at like the way that everybody responded to Shaq and, and, and Charles Barkley, the way that all of us responded, you know, everybody just start calling them out. And I'm just looking like, why? Like, Wait, what, is this something that happened recently? What happened? Yeah, they they um they spoke on the Breonna Taylor shit and they were really objective, both of them. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So it was like they was they were talking, but they weren't. It didn't seem like they were taking into consideration um, the place of the black where where black women stand right now in America, based off mm. of their actions. You know, mm. like it was completely like everything was being prefaced with like in all fairness. He just kept saying in all fairness. You know, they went in there. The dude fired a shot first. If I'm a police, I fire a shot back. And I agree. In all fairness. But you're implying that everything is in all fairness. You know what I mean? Like the black, your black experience growing up in America was completely different from mine. You're a superhero. You have socially engineered ideologies. They always treated you fair because how is it not easy to put value on you? You're Shaquille O'Neal. You've been a you've been a walking fucking dollar sign since the day you was born. You know what I'm saying? But me, my black ass. I've never got treated fair by the police. You know what I'm saying? I don't right. have a lot of fair experiences with the police. So, you know, like I, it's it's hard for me to look at the way that that the way that they police that situation and see the fairness in it. It's it was just too much sloppiness. It was too much inflammatory reckless policing at the hands of black people. And it'd be different if it was happening to everybody. It's only happening to us. Oh, you know Rizza Islam like, is in the house. Pardon me for cutting you mm -hmm. off. Peace, Rizza. We would like to get you on the Godcast at some point. Yes, we would. You oh, say what? Exactly. Rizza Islam. You know, you know who Rizza Islam is? Of course. Okay, yeah, he's in the house right now. He's commenting. He's in the Peace. comments. Peace, that's Rizza. Why, that's the bruh. That's the bruh. 
Yeah. Um, please hit me on IG and my DM or something and send me your um send me your information so we can build because we definitely would like to uh yeah, bring you in on this topic. I don't understand, man. Like I don't understand how somebody could have something against Muslim people, bro. Like Reza, every time I see Reza, he's soldiering. Yes. He's dedicating his life to his people. How like how could I ever how could I ever condemn that? 